we've got a little bit of a setback guys um, a little setback in our scope mount video and it's my fault it's every bit my fault I screwed up um, before I get into that though did want to show you I did score some P mags locally thought that was awesome check that out $15.99 they're not jacked up in price at all here d and Outdoors, guys, I was able to get him. He had a buttload of them, too. I just wish I had more money. I could only afford to get two, but I wasn't passing them up. But uh, anyway, um, my goof up. This is the scope that Jay wants mounted on his uh, Remington 700, okay? It's a Nikon M308, and boy, it's a nice scope. It really is a nice, nice scope. It is uh, definitely what I would consider starting to get toward the upper end scopes that Nikon has. And one thing about Nikon scopes, guys, I'll say is this. Every time I've ever messed with them, I've ever shot with them, all my experiences with Nikon scopes have been positive. And in one regards, their optics are always super clear. Never had any problems. I don't really have anything negative to say about them. They make pretty good stuff. Even their lower price scopes and their lower end scopes. And when I say lower end, you know, they're less than 200 bucks. And uh, I don't mean that they're less quality. They just don't have as many of the features that some of the upper end scopes have. Uh, but this is starting to get into their upper end scope line, in my opinion, because this thing is uh, what, 530, 540, 550, maybe 560 or 70, depending on where you buy it, what part of the country you're in, and where you get it from. But it is not a cheap scope, and it's very nice. It's very feature rich, and um, it's a very, very good scope. He's got one of these on his uh, Mini 14, and it works fantastic. But my goof up was right here. It also comes with a uh, M308 scope mount. Now, this M308 scope mount comes with a preset or a pre angle of uh, 20 MOA. I was not aware of that. And so when I ordered the rail for it, I ordered the 20 MOA rail. That gives it 40 minutes of angle. The internal adjustment on this particular scope is 40 minutes of angle. All right, now that's 20, um, 20 minutes up elevation and 20 minutes down elevation. So for a total of 40. So I don't think I'm going to be able to confiscate, confiscate, compensate, good Lord, for that uh, with the internal reticles. So it's, if I put this on, it's going to be 40 MOA. So we had to order a zero MOA mount. I was hoping it would be in. It has not made it yet. So um, it'll be here Monday, I hope, and we'll just uh, we'll get started on it then. So my goof up, that's the reason we're not doing this right now. But if I had to pick a favorite scope company, guys, I guess I would pick Lapold. I love Lapold scopes. Um, to me, they're the cat's meow. I, I just like them. And everybody's got a different opinion, So, but that's mine. I really like those. But anyway, that's about it, guys. Now, listen, I want to say this. Do not, guys, give up on uh, sending your letters and calling and emailing your congressmen and senators, guys. What was it that Joe Biden just said this week? We're right back at it. Guys, these anti-gunners are not going to stop. The, the, the Democrats are not going to let go of this thing. They are not going to freaking stop. So you've got to stay diligent. And they'll sneak some more gun legislation in in the dead of night behind and under everybody's nose when nobody's looking. And so we've got to stay on it. I have not stopped calling. I have not stopped sending letters. I have not stopped emailing. I implore you to continue to do the same. It was us, all of us, that stopped massive gun control laws being passed. And now look, uh, Colorado, what is They're trying to already figure out a way to, uh, to rescind those laws that were signed in because they're getting a lot of flack from people in Colorado about it. So... I'm telling you guys, it makes a difference. You may not think it does, but it does. If enough of us stand together, they cannot defeat us. It's up to us. So please continue that. And that's really all I got, guys. We'll get to this thing, I promise. And uh, my goof up is the only reason we're not doing it now. So, Oh, Pete's got a new, uh, check out his video on that, and that M400, that or M400, that Benelli M4 he got. That freaking thing's awesome. That is definitely a dream gun. And, I don't remember saying what he said. I said, what was it, 12 minutes and 20 seconds or something? Heck, if I said that, I must have been drunk. <laughs> Catch y'all later.